Hi, Bob, W9RAN here, to talk again about AirSpy. The AirSpy SDR incorporates a software-based digital down converter that normally samples the output of an R820T2 VHF UHF tuner using a 12-bit A to D converter at 20 million samples per second. The developers expose two additional A to D converter inputs which can be accessed by means of experimental software. And I wanted to use this capability to determine how well the AirSpy would work as a direct digital down conversion or DDC type SDR receiver in the medium and high frequency bands. Because the 20 megasample per second real sample rate translates into 10 megasamples per second when converted to IQ, this means that in the direct DDC mode, AirSpy is capable of receiving up to 10 megahertz of spectrum. For this test, an HF antenna was connected directly to the ADC input by means of an isolation transformer. Now please note, the ADC inputs are only capable of handling voltages less than 0.8 volts, so caution must be taken to protect the ADC input from damage. In a real receiver, there would be a low noise preamp between the antenna and the ADC, but for this test I used the transformer coupling to provide isolation and some diode clamps as shown. While signals in the 0 to 10 MHz range can be heard with this configuration, the lack of input filtering means that aliases from higher Nyquist zones will also be heard. This is corrected by adding a low-pass filter with a cutoff of 10 MHz to the antenna coupling circuit to act as an anti-aliasing filter. Feeding HF signals directly into the 12-bit ADC input produces a sensitivity of around 100 to 105 dBm, which is plenty good enough when used with a good antenna because signal strengths are high enough that you can hear a lot of things on HF and AM broadcast band. But a proper implementation would require a preamp with 20 to 30 dB of gain plus a switchable attenuator to handle the full range of signal strengths present and provide sensitivity equal to that of typical HF receivers. Here's a snapshot with AirSpy set for a full 10 MHz of bandwidth that shows what the spectrum looked like at uh, one point in time from my location here in the middle USA. The ability to see 10 MHz of spectrum at one time is pretty cool. So now let's take a listen to the AirSpy DDC HF receiver. In the following video, I will tune around the 75 meter ham band to show both single sideband and AM signals, then to 40 meters, uh, some shortwave and AM broadcast uh, stations, and finally 160 meters, which isn't bad using point and click tuning on an HF receiver that has no tune circuits at all. I haven't been up by, I don't know if they uh, still run up there on. 18 or not. <laughs> a lot of pictures of them working and, um, you know, sometime I'll send them to you, but, uh, uh, pleasure to... Give me about three questions down, they'll come back and ask you that same question again over and over. Got it. Anyway, um, I'm looking at it tonight, so that's good. Do you have a full package, that? According to get to what uh, I'm shit now, unless they are a diehard supporter. Yes, sir. I don't want the, uh, the son of the steering wheel. And, uh, my car was almost drivable. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Gerald. Thank you, Rick. All the best. Thank you for all you're doing. Well, that's all I have for today's program. I appreciate that you spent this hour with me. We're always humble. That's so many people. Oh, God, Zero. This year, I'm taking my...
2015 resolutions seriously. First on the list, there's that deck I've been putting off. Well, when it's warmer out. Know how to pace your spending each month with PNC Virtual Wallet. And then there's the trip, Ireland. Slow pocket, Austin to this flames, out to Thorndale 32, inbound 30. Stevenson to the Tri-State 26, inbound is quiet.